Yes. All right, folks, always raise your hand and we'll get back to you. Come here, drop the John, what did you like leading up to the night? What did you like about the five you started with? And the group just, um, just trying stuff. And, and I thought it was funny. The, the, the group I put in um, at the 16 minute mark really played and played together and was aggressive. And when they started the second half, they weren't like that. Um, so we're, st we're still exploring. I mean, we had seven guys in double figures. You know, you had, you know, a lot of people doing some things. And it's just the straight line drives. It was kind of like the Bahamas first game. We had 21 straight line drives, this team. And, and what Transy does, and Brian does a good job of, they were going to use the clock. And they were going to make us play for 30 seconds. And we had some guys that were not able to play the full 30 seconds, either on a switch or how about it went inside with two seconds to go. They throw it out to three-point shooters and guys had fell, fallen asleep and they made them. It's a great lesson. This is this will be a great teaching tape. Um, you know, we rebounded the ball. PJ went in in the second half and did what I wanted him to do, which is, you know, go get five, six rebounds a half. Go get two or three offensive. We need those. We need those extra baskets. Um, but again, it's a it's a lesson. Didn't make a shot. Missed every you know. Uh, great thing for Tyler. I told him you have to get your shot before you catch the ball. This isn't high school. I catch it and do I have a shot? You 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 know before you catch it to go get a shot. And I think it's good for him. He went one for eight. Now understand why did I go one for eight? You know what what was it? Some of them I tried to. I wasn't ready or they were too tight for me because. I wasn't ready to shoot it when I thought he had two that he should have let go, that he then bounced and made it a tougher shot. But this is all new. Emmanuel's better than he played. I thought Ashton played pretty good. You know, Travis did what he did. Nick played well in the second half, not so well in the or first half, not so well in the second half. EJ did some good stuff, but we still. Last thing, guys, I and I told them why I did it. We pressed the whole game not to try to steal, and to, I wanted the condition. Let's see where we are conditioning. And it, so you press, and you, you're all over the place, and then they hold the ball for 25. That's, that's great conditioning. And we broke down a ton because of it. Larry, you seem like the point guards were very conscious of pace first, look for what they were doing first, and shooting this kind of secondary to them. How, how did you feel about that? Is that what you wanted to see from them like that? Well, they had seven assists together, seven assists in two turns. So they did a pretty good job there. Um, and they got to the rim. Uh, for some layups, which is what I wanted. Emmanuel's a three-point shooter that needed to get some threes off. Uh, Ashton is not that guy. He'll shoot a three, but that's not his game. So I thought I thought Ashton played pretty well. Um, but the scoring, um, I want him to score. I liked what um, Quad A did away from the ball. Exactly what I want him to do: gets baskets, get a couple assists, you know, shoot a three. Um, so. You, know, talk, you talked about the, the stuff you'll be able to teach out of this and the good lessons learned. When you go into a game like this, Brian Lane talked about coming in here that he told his team our, our goal is to help them get better, to give them things to look at. In a, in a situation like this, do you almost ask the other coach, hey, can you do some of this? Can you attack us this way? Give us this look because I want to see it? Well, I no, because I don't want them to change what they're doing. I want Brian's team to get better, too, from this. And they did. What? What they ended up doing and showing these guys, if the other team plays harder than you, you're not going to look good. And it doesn't matter what level it is, you have to figure out how hard is this guy playing, I got to play harder than he plays. And you got to come in the game with an idea that I'm going to make him chase me, I'm not chasing him. Um, every one of our players has improved, every one of them. Now it becomes, do you, does that mean you think you don't have to play harder than the other guy because you're way better as a player? It doesn't, you know, that's the equalizer in all that we do. Over on the right, Daryl. John, are there one to two things that you'd like to see Mark improving in during the next exhibition? Um, we got we to gotta make some threes. 
And I got to watch the tape to see if did they take them away or you know did, were we not prepared to shoot or you know one for 13. And this might be my best shooting team in a while. Um, it, one of the things I've told them though the good news is we don't rely on three point shooting. There's teams that do we don't. So we could go one for 13 and still score a lot of points because of how we play. But that is the one thing that gives us a gap. You make 10 or 11 threes here, then we're winning pretty big. And so we, uh, you know, again, I got to watch the tape and see what it is. Some of them we may just been missing, you know. Um, but the two guys, Tyler shot four. Emmanuel only shot one. Quade only shot two. You know, I mean, those are three of the guys that should be shooting. And and I have no problem with um, um, even Keldon. I thought Keldon did a uh, Keldon did good good stuff today. Again, the the sustaining effort, being a little winded and still being able to think, fighting through. It looks as though these guys can play for three, four minutes at a stretch if we're playing the way we want to play. Doesn't seem like anybody can really play more than that. Hey, John, did DJ building on what he did in the Blue game, can you see him developing? Yes, yeah, he did good again today. Did some good stuff. Front Curtis. What about Reed? What did you like from him tonight? Reed Travis? Yeah, he, he did good stuff. I mean, he rebounded the ball. He had a double-double. Um, you know, if we could have that out of him every game we play, it's it's a pretty good night. He's physical. He talks on defense. He did. He he played good. John, there was a nice ceremony for CM before the game. Can you just maybe share some of your experiences with him, tell some of the stories? Well, um, let me let me just say that the first thing that CM uh, was big for basketball, international basketball. I mean, he was involved in USA basketball, all of it, FIBA. Um, he was the, like the kingpin. He was also big, obviously, with Kentucky's athletic department and our basketball program. And so, as a player here, as the athletic director here, um, knowing that he coached at Transy, uh, we just thought this would be a good thing. And we, we talked to Martin. and. And um, I like the, the people here that recognized him and the ovation that they gave him. And they did a video on the game. So there was a television video that they did on him. Um, and uh, I told Martin, he had a heck of a run. Dude had a heck of a run. And affected basketball in a positive way in so many levels. It's, it's incredible. And he's one of ours. He's, you know, he's, he's Kentucky's own. Coach, any concern about Jamal not being able to play tonight? No, his knee swelled up. So he didn't practice for two days. Anything else, folks? Back over tower real quick. Did you see DeMarcus got ejected in a game he didn't even play tonight? Who's that? DeMarcus Cousins got ejected in a game he didn't play tonight in the bench. Surprised? I, I didn't see it. I don't know what it was about. But, you know, somebody must have said something to him. I mean, they shouldn't have said it. I don't know what to say. All right, folks, let Guys, we have Reed, TJ, Clyde, out